this is an experiment which is based on special case of Bernoulli principle. It is called Venturi effect. We want to represent a basic thing how it works. According to Bernoulli's principle, Venturi effect is based on these formulas. So, as you see, we have the V, which is like flow velocity. We have a G, this is a gravitation, acceleration. Uh, we have a P, this, uh, which is pressure of at each point. We have a gamma, this is a specific weight, which is uh, like equal density and uh, gravitation acceleration. And we have a Z, which is like height vertically on a benchmark. So, as you can see, this is a constant, and uh, if the V increases necessarily, P must decrease and for this reason what we have like the P1 is like a equal to P atmosphere uh, and P1 as because of the speed is is higher than the P2 so as you can see the pressure 2 is less than the pressure of the atmosphere so up here we have a tube with constriction we got flow V which is going into the entrance. As the tube is getting narrower, the pressure will decrease because the flow will increase. So we got P1 and P2. P1 is high pressure zone and P2 is low pressure zone. In case we want to use Venturi effect, we have to go a little bit further into Bernoulli's principle. In this place, the pressure is getting higher because the tube is getting wider and velocity is decreased. So P3 is high pressure zone. We have to do a hole in constriction zone. The pipe from a cup with water is connected to the top through the hole. As the pressure decreases in the constriction, the water pressure which is equal to atmosphere pressure is going to be higher than the pressure through the constriction zone. Because the water pressure is higher, the fluid is gonna be sucked up. Air and water drops will be mixed and go out through the tube's end. As you can see, we have two different cross-sectioned areas. A1 and A2. So, this is the equation A1 V1 is equal to A2 V2. So, I can, I can write the formula so a, A, V is constant. So for this reason, if you see, so the bigger, the, the low, the smaller the size of this cross section area is, so that means the bigger the speed is. And if, as you know, the greater the flow speed is, the lower the pressure. That's why this is a low pressure zone here. So this is how an experiment looks like in reality.